Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. In today's video, we're going to be reminiscing a little bit about the past couple weeks, and I'm going to be announcing a couple winners. I hope you'll stick around and find out more! Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Although I haven't had many videos out over the past couple weeks, I have been doing stuff behind the scenes and I had a couple giveaways that I need to announce. So I thought today we would take care of that. First of all, if you didn't already know it, this past weekend I participated in Craft Roulette's World Card Making Day Extravaganza. It was a live, I think, six hour event hosted by Mary Gunn of Craft Roulette and Amanda of Pear Blossom Press. And if you were there, you know that Steven behind the scenes needs a huge shout out. Not only did my good friend Biddy Penny make an appearance as a creator, but she also helped host a little bit. And there were so many other awesome creators that if you weren't there to watch live, I hope you'll go check it out. There was May May Made It, Kathy Zilski, Ardith was there, Lauren Taylor made, like too many, I can't even name them. In the description box below, I will have a link to the video and I will have it start where I came live, but you can always rewind and fast forward to see everyone else as well. What it was is ahead of time, we were given four parameters just like Craft Roulette normally uses so that when we got on there, we could quickly make a card or two or three and we were told to prep. So I think I over prepped because I ended up getting my two for one cards made and the other one that I prepped and then I still had time left so I got started on this fourth one. Let me know in the comment section below if you can guess the four parameters for that day by seeing my cards here. Another big thing recently was that I shared a video about my last stencil. Now, if you haven't watched that yet to know why this is my last stencil, I will have that video linked below. But basically, because I got on the Tailored Expressions team, I did have to stop making product or designing product for Not Too Shabby, which I'm totally sad about, but I am still supporting Jamie by being on the quarterly team and being a purchaser from her site. So in front of me is the last stencil that I designed for her and it's called Pumpkin Patch. And there might be one or two left on the site, so I'll link it below. But I gave my email list a chance to win my last, last stencil. So I will be announcing the winner of that today. It is already on its way to the winner because it was taking me a little while to get this video out. And then I also had another prize pack that included this stencil. So maybe this wasn't my last, last stencil. Now, if you're not on my email list yet, I will have a link in the description box below where you can go and sign up. I do some kind of behind the scenes things or reminders. And every once in a while, I do a fun little giveaway for the newsletter recipients only. Up on screen now is a look at a card I made with this stencil so you can get an idea of how to use it. And in that using my last stencil video, you'll see actually how I made it. And before I move on to my next giveaway, I probably better tell you who was the winner of this stencil, right? So I had 68 qualified entries and number 48 was the winner. Now, you know, normally I like to show on screen all of like the entries and how I picked the winner. But unfortunately, because it was done through email, it gives away too much personal information. So I did count down to the 48th person who submitted their correct entries. And this stencil is going to Carmen of Choose Joy with Carmen. Congratulations. I hope Carmen that it's actually already in your hands. Thanks to everybody who took the time to participate in that giveaway. 
The second giveaway of the day was from last month's channel member live. We made a mystery card, which if you're a channel member who's been around for a while, you know that that is just the upcoming sheet load of cards. So they always get a look at my first set during that monthly channel member live for the next month. But some months we do go ahead and create one together. So this month while we were live, I gave them the instructions to make the October 2023 sheet load. And this is the one that I created on camera. Instead of having a sentiment here, I just did a little ephemera. Quick, easy way to add a cute image to the card. Channel members who played along and got their cards submitted to me in time got into a drawing for the prize you see on screen now. It includes not only my last stencil, the pumpkin patch, but many other not too shabby goodies from their latest quarterly release. I was super excited to give this away and I think we had some people who were super excited to be entered to win it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cards they created during the Mystery Card Live. Weren't all of those fun to see? Keep in mind, many of those people had not already seen mine or the sketch. So I love how some of them twisted that square in the middle to be a diamond. So fun to see how with verbal instructions, the card comes out. Thanks to everybody who played along. Let's go ahead and find out who the winner is. Congratulations! Now, that prize is already also on its way, and maybe by the time this comes out, you've received it as well. Now, if you're interested in getting in on the next monthly channel member live, make sure to check out the join button below this video or the link at the top of the description box. Anybody who is a die cut or paper trimmer level member can join us each month. We don't always do a mystery card, but about 99% of the time there is a chance to win a prize. I think that's all for today. So until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.